Here we have it, the Outcast 8S EXB. I've had it for about a week now. This thing barely fits on my table. Um, definitely a big car. In this video, we're going to be, well, let me put that noisy body away. In this video, we're going to be putting all electronics in. I have everything except the pinion gear. Last night, I did make a video of soldering IC5 connectors on this Max 5. So we are going with a Max 5 ESC. We're going with the, it's down the box, the 5687-1100KV motor from Hobbywing. I'm using the S905 out of my Creighton 8S. Uh, I'm just going to get a nicer... Uh, servo for that, but I'm just going to chuck this in there for now. Pinion gear, I don't know about pinion yet because all my local hobby shops have been out of safeties 8 and uh, as well as just 8 millimeters or 8, uh, 8 millimeter boards. So I might just have to order one offline. We'll see when that comes. Um, but for now, let's get this thing together. I'm going to get the servo assembly or a servo insert it inside of the tray get the receiver in there get all that uh, together and then get that um, ESC mounted on top so uh, let's go along with it okay so I have the fly sky receiver mounted in there I actually went ahead and plugged in the ESC to channel one I'm gonna go ahead and get that bind plug in there and get it bound up now just so that I I can go ahead and get all the wires where they need to be and not have to worry about moving things around later. So with this fly sky, got this bound bind plug. All it's doing is shorten out the two outer terminals. If I can see it. There we go. And All right, so let's go ahead and short that there and plug this in. Okay, so all you need to do is power up your ESC as soon as you start having blinking on there. Well, first of all, you make sure you are in the right model. You're going to hold the bind and just turn it on. There we go. We're now solid down there. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Turn off that. We are good to go. So there. Alright, now you can see it. There you have it. There is the servo. We have the ESC mounted on top. Receivers in there. Everything is plugged in. I'm going to turn it on real quick. And just make sure that steering servo turns. Go ahead and plug it in. Turn it on. Let's turn this guy on. So we do got servo turning down there. You can really hear it, but perfect. Okay, so it's all together now. Got the steering, uh, or the servo saver, whole assembly one there i did switch to my phone because my gopro died but everything is on i am going to get the truck up here and get this thing mounted in there um and then go for the motor there it is it's all in uh, i got the steering set up i'm now gonna check out the motor see what i can do see if i can i'm gonna see if i have opinion maybe i do um or maybe i'll pull it off or something but let's go search for the opinion okay i have the center transmission out uh Took it out to change this, I believe it's a 47 tooth, to this included 39. I am going to have to use this, what it came with my Creighton BLX, this 23 tooth. It's the only one I have. I ordered a 230 tooth. <laughs> I ordered 230 tooth pinions from Arma. They are back ordered, so I have no idea when they are going to get here. Um, unless I find something else, I am just going to stick with 
only running this one I, I still have plenty of work to do to creating m2c chassis and a bunch of upgrades so i'm pretty much going to probably stop on that once i get to the motor uh get it in there and then just wait for that those pinions to come but while i'm in here i do need to uh change this differential fluid uh i'm gonna see what it's like in there what we got going on and then um lock it up all right here you have it, I have the motor now mounted up with the 39 tooth pinion, forgive me, spur with the 21, no, 23, 23 tooth uh, pinion. Hopefully that's set right. I think it sounds okay. Got a little bit of play. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that back up on the table and get this thing installed. Okay, let's get this out of the way. We are all together. I have the motor and the wires all in now. Everything's in. Um, I just have to turn it on. I'm going to get everything set up with the program card and everything dialed in real quick. And then I have two 4S batteries charged. As long as it's not raining outside right now, I'm going to get this thing outside and do a quick run on the street. All right, so I just threw in two smaller uh, Z packs because I didn't want to have to adjust the batteries yet. I'm probably going to be rocking these batteries anyway. I think they're they're 6200 million amp. So let's, uh, let's go outside. Here it is outside. It's not raining yet. I put the ESC up to punch five. That's pretty much the only thing I changed. But let's see how this thing runs. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 